this is Lee Sterling of ParamountSports.com, and today I'm going to break down and predict what I think is going to take place with the Utah Utes 2013 football season. Now, what I do as a former college quarterback, I will study three or four game tapes from the 2012 season. Also, by having a vacation home in Park City, Utah, I'll watch some spring football practices and their spring games, and I've always been able to get a real good handle on this football team. Now, last year was a downer. Five and seven record, uh, unacceptable for this program, but I think it was expected that they were going to struggle at first, moving up in competition and playing a Pac-12 schedule. Instead of just getting up for two or three games a year, now they have to get up for eight or nine games a year. But there is some reason for optimism. They've added Dennis Erickson as a co-offensive coordinator. He will not call the plays Brian Johnson will still call the plays, but he will add his expertise. He's always been an offensive guru. Uh, if you go back to his past stops at Arizona State, Oregon State, University of Miami, and San Francisco in the NFL, he understands how an offense can attack a defense, and he will be a big addition this year and uh, this year and years to come. Now, I expect also quarterback sophomore Travis Wilson will be much improved. He was thrown into the line of fire early last year, and I don't think he was ready. And uh, some people might think that the running game might have some problems with the loss of running back John White, but I think they'll pick up right where they left off last year and the year before. Uh, they've got a strong running game with running back Kevin York, and they bring in a junior college transfer who I like a lot, Devontae Booker. So I, I think the offense will be fine. I like uh, the addition of junior college right guard, uh, Junior Salt, he will be an addition that will help solidify the offensive line. Look for them to improve on just 3.6 yards per carry rushing from last year. Now, on defense, they lost both defensive tackles, but all three linebackers return, and I like free safety also. Eric Rowe, he anchors the secondary, so I think they'll be fine on defense. Um, they have big games at the start of the season this year. They've got a rematch against Utah State, who they lost in overtime, 27-20. They also uh, will play early in the season, Oregon State and BYU. Uh, I'm going to predict this team finds a way, because they're coached so well, uh, to get back into a bowl. That I, I'm going to say they go 6-6 six and six this year and get back to a bowl, and, and they're going to recruit better. And uh, I, I just think that those key injuries that bothered them each of the last couple of years, I think that they're going to finally get some, some better health as far as injuries. So I look for Utah to go 6-6 six and six this year. They might even surprise and go 7-5 and five and get back to a bowl. You want to get involved with Paramount Sports. We've had 21 straight winning years, won 22 of 26 weeks last year. Incredible year. Get the entire season from the start of the preseason through the Super Bowl, just $1,497.00. Go to ParamountSports.com or call 800-400-9741.